All right, class, so today I'm not in right now. I'm out. I got something going on, so I'm not going to be in class today. So what are you guys going to do? Uh, first, we got to start with sketchbook. So for sketchbook work, you are going to fill two pages with only circles. Now, as you're using these circles, you can overlap the circles. Um, use color if you want to. Magazines are always uh, free right now. I don't think I have anything else out. I definitely want you to take a look at these examples of sketchbooks, see how things are, are covered in there. Uh, I like how you can pull pull images and use them for other reference. Now, with these circles, you're overlaying these pieces together, filling up those spaces. You can put designs in there even if you want to, or however you want to mix it up. Now, as uh, the video progresses, we have a couple other tutorials also. But today we're going into a different class altogether. Today we're going to do a little bit of sketchbook work. And for sketchbooks, this class is going to be for surface design. Now, most of my classes we use, you know, regular traditional composition notebooks so that you can come in and you can put in your designs and stuff and have in your, your simple layouts and your pieces. But today we got a different topic that we're going to do. Today's piece is going to be called the is called the um, one line, one breath design challenge. All right, so one line, one breath is simply a abstract design piece. It's basically for the students to focus on how to use a line across a single piece of paper. Now, for the assignment that I'm using, I found this cool thing on Pinterest. Um, so I found this cool picture on Pinterest, and I was like, you know what? That would be a great sketchbook assignment. Possibly you can possibly expand it out to a larger piece, which is kind of my goal, uh, to make a bigger piece. I just think it's it's an interesting thing. So I was sitting in a I was sitting in a meeting and decided, hey, let me give that a try. So I just took out my pad and I th started throwing down single lines. So as I'm doing this, I turn my paper on the horizontal like so. Start at one end of the page. Take a breath. <gasps> And as I'm blowing out the air slowly, as I'm letting that air escape my lungs, I'm wholly pulling one single line down. Next one. And again. And But I'm trying to make sure that those lines are as close together as possible so that when you are done with it, uh, as you're going down, your hand's going to make a movement across the page. If you want to, you can even talk about chaos theory. Should probably cut into a scene from Jurassic Park. All right, so as the line is coming down across, how's it going to transfer across the paper? Are you going to get, have these single lines that are perfectly single side by side? No, because we're human. You're going to have those mistakes. That's kind of the stuff that we want to see in your in your designs because that's more interesting. And what's even cool about this? You got a big class. Everybody gets like a. 12 by 18 sheet of paper, take about two, maybe three days to do, uh, but to have a giant mural piece where everybody in the class is creating one of those pieces, very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Now, using that last clip as a tutorial method, over on the supply table, we have the larger sheets of paper. Use those to do the one line drawing piece. We're gonna be continuing this on as we start into the next project, next unit, which is on line and how line is used in art. Now, as you guys are working on that, working on sketchbooks, finishing up the elements and principles, pieces, we're kind of overlapping a bunch of projects together. I will see you guys when I see you. Hopefully it will be next class. Uh, if you guys have questions or whatnot, you can always hit me up on email. Remember in the syllabus there, you have my email address if you, to ask me some questions, I'll, I'll get back to you. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys next class. Later guys.